over is how we can prepare every Kenyan youth for their personal destiny. The interventions that we have put in place include fostering greater access to technical and vocational education, creating a framework through which our youth would have greater access to government procurement opportunities, creation and expansion of youth affirmative action funds such as the Youth Fund, the UESO Fund, as well as the expansion of this NYS program. And undoubtedly, the NYS program has been a tremendous success. And for that reason, despite the disruptions caused by COVID-19, we have remained resolute on empowering our youth through the NYS, which has seen an additional 14,000 779 young people admitted into the NYS this calendar year. Indeed, through the NYS training programs, we now have a critical mass of employable youth with a reputation for discipline, diligence, excellence, and hard work. This sterling reputation has stood the test of time, and I therefore urge you, the class graduating today, to maintain these high standards as you move on to the next phase of your service to Kenya. I wish to thank National Youth Service Council, management and the staff for strengthening National Youth Service governance to deliver on the expanded mandate. The performance of the council and the management has demonstrated high standards of professionalism, patriotism, and high standards of ethical practices. And the excellence, that's why for almost the fourth year, we have not witnessed any unethical issues in the institution. 